Hey everyone, Keegan here with Dark Arrow. Today I want to provide you with a preview of what the build instructions will look like for the Dark Arrow 1, so let's jump right in. The big thing we are doing is integrating the Dark Arrow CAD into the instructions. We designed the Dark Arrow 1 in Onshape, which is a cloud-based CAD platform. What this means for you as the builder is that you don't have to download any software. You simply need a link to view it. You don't even need to create an account. This is the exciting part of the instructions that we think will prove to be a huge help to builders. Before we get into what that looks like, let's take a step back for a minute and show you the written part of the instructions, which has some interesting functionality as well. One of our goals with Dark Arrow is to create the best kit aircraft, not just on the performance and endurance end, but also for the build experience. Now, as you probably have already noticed, these instructions are housed in Google Sheets. That might seem a little strange at first. I think most people are familiar with the old school paper instructions or even the PDF versions that are now readily available online for other kit build aircraft. There's nothing wrong with these, but we saw opportunities to improve the build experience. We picked Google Sheets for a number of beneficial reasons. Unlike paper and PDF, Google Sheets will allow the instructions to be dynamic. Builders will have the ability to comment on any portion of the instructions that are unclear or if they feel that more information is needed. This creates a tighter feedback loop, allowing us to more accurately and quickly address build concerns. We can update the instructions faster and more efficiently with Google Sheets. With this format, we can make updates that instantly go out to all builders at once and notify them in their email. With our master copy, all copies can be updated simultaneously. This means builders will always have the latest up-to-date information available to them. Builders will be able to track their progress and check off tasks as they go along. This data will be visible to Dark Arrow and will allow us to provide future builders with a more accurate time to complete each section of the build. Lastly, the instructions are still printable. You'll still be able to print the instructions onto either 8.5 by 11 or 11 by 17 in landscape mode. We expect most builders will opt to print off their instructions to bring with them out to their garage or workspace. Chapter one, which is an introduction and overview of procedures like how to properly bond carbon fiber and rivet carbon fiber will be a good one to print off, for example. Chapter two involves the first building portion of the plane, which I think most people are interested in. So let's jump into that and see how we have it integrated in with the aircraft CAD. The first few sections of each chapter will include the formalities like revision history, table of contents, build overview, PPE and tools needed, and then your parts and materials list. Let's go to the first part of the build, which is constructing the horizontal stabilizer. So each build section provides a brief overview of what your goals are for that section and what's involved. You can see here for section 2.5, we will be building the horizontal stabilizer. Just like any other document, you're going to work your way from top to bottom, completing build tasks as you go along. Each build task starts with what PPE, tools, and parts are required. Following that are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete that task along with real photos to help further communicate that portion of the build. You may have noticed that as I'm scrolling through here, each section includes a link to the CAD. So let's take a quick look at that. You can simply click the link and it'll bring you right to the CAD in a new browser tab. At the top, we have the CAD title to correspond with the respective build section. So this corresponds with sections 2.5.5 to 2.5.7. We are here in section 2.5.5, which was to bond the carbon angle reinforcements. What I can do in the CAD is toggle exploded views, which will bring up the menu on the right. With this menu, we can see the exploded view for that particular section. You can click any of these to see the exploded view of how those parts come together. Using the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and view these parts from any perspective you want. You can click parts and get additional information as well, like dimensions or material properties. You can use the view cube in the upper right to see the parts from different viewing perspectives. You can also select parts and hide them if needed. There are a lot of other features, so feel free to play around with the CAD. Because it is view only, you won't be able to break it. I should also note that the CAD has been modified for the instructions. To avoid confusion and make things simpler, certain internal parts and structures have been omitted from the CAD. The last section of Chapter 2 is 2.7, where you will fit the elevators to the horizontal stabilizer and confirm their motion. So we have the CAD representation of that as well. 
Toggling the exploded view panel on the right allows us to see how they attach. And then if we toggle back, we can actually see the motion of the elevators, which is pretty cool. We are still working through when the instructions get shared with each builder, but it will likely be around the same time that their kit is being manufactured. With that being said, all critical information will be provided in advance, like proper procedures, tool lists, and shop setup. In fact, chapters one and two are already available on our knowledge base now as view-only copies. The link to them is in the description below. The Onshape CAD that I shared in this video is also active and available for viewing, so check that out when you get a chance. All right, everyone, that's all we have for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.